So this is a game called Safety Instructions, and it is a typing game. And uh, basically, you just basically type out shit in it. But what the what the whole point of the game is 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 you know the safety instructions you always see whenever you're on a plane. This is basically the same thing, but you have to type them out as fast as you can, or you pretty much die. And there's two game modes here. I'm going to show you. Uh, you take off here in the clouds, and there to hell, I folks. Uh, I want. Uh, so, um, it asks you how good you are at this kind of thing. So basically, you can play off bad, you can play on bad mode, which is the same as good, except the game is a little bit harsher on you with time. And then once you beat good mode once, you get access to a few bonus stages that weren't in the original. And then if you beat that version again, you get to play nightmare mode, where the game gives you a different set of dialogue. So I'm gonna have to play good mode first so you guys can see what I mean by the dialogue. Um, don't want to alarm you, want to buckle up. So, so here's your typing, and you have to type it out. And if you don't type it out, then you hit your head on the ceiling and you get killed. And you're dead, and it looks like somebody at, etched a V in your head for no apparent reason. So, you retry, you have infinite lives, infinite continues. Your seatbelt and adjust to fit as needed. All right, so when you do that, then you are fucking safe. And also the link to this game is in the info. Just go down there and check it out if you want to play this. Um, I don't intend to show you guys every single one of the death scenes on here because I think that'd take a long time. So if you want to check them all out yourself, you know, then you should definitely play. And this is one of the bonus stages that you get um, once you've played through good mode once. One of the bonus levels. Race yourself against the seat in front of you lest you shit your pants. <clears throat> So you can see these are all pretty like standard instructions and stuff like that that come with a manual, you know, for a plane. Stuff you'd expect, right? And then the guy says, get off the plane! Get off the plane now! Pork chop sandwiches! And then you scream, ah. You go, oh no! And then it asks you to take your carry-on. But see, here's the thing. If you fuck that up, you actually continue on. If you actually do that correctly, which I'll do in nightmare mode, then the bag falls on your head, and you die. I have done just that. I do that little, that little, just, just, just right there, I do that. Now, I want to kill myself on this one, actually, because I do want to show you this one. This is pretty vicious, you know? This guy's just taking his time opening up the door, and look at what happens. Fucking kills his ass. She just kills him, no remorse, or he, maybe it's a dude with a mullet, I don't even know. But it just kills him outright, it's like, damn. I mean, and they're just walking all over his body. No help, no no helping him out. I mean, the dude's like, bent over backwards there, doing a contortionist position, doing a yoga position, and there's blood on his mouth, you know? Or maybe he's learning how to do, I don't know, some fucking crazy ass move, but he's, he's dead, you know? I mean, Jesus Christ, it's like 10 seconds. I mean, I mean, if it's really gonna be that big of an explosion that you can't even get away from it, it's like you're basically fucked either way, so... Damn. Now, this is actually kind of a troll one, too. But if you fuck that up, then you actually die on the next stage, regardless of how you do on it. So, going through here. Doing good. Shark attack. And Shark says, I'm gonna eat you. And he eats you. Hey! And then the Shark pretty much keeps on doing dives after you and he can't get you at all, but he's really damn persistent. He'll keep this shit up till the end of time. Now, I didn't know that Life Jackets had a whistle. Or vest, whatever. No, that's why I get for only hitting L once. I don't really know why I die immediately. It's like, maybe you could survive. Maybe you're like a survivalist. I don't know. I mean, clearly the sharks gave up by that point. And it's like, do you really need a whistle to get these guys to realize you're there? It's like, did they not notice you going off the plane? I know that one woman did, because she got so buttered you taking so long. And if you don't push them off, then you all kind of sink. It's, it's kind of sad. You have to sacrifice the big man. But, you know... Now, I don't think this is in any uh, airport pamphlet, or any uh, plane pamphlet on what to do.
the obese man thing, not this. So then you went and you do your calisthenics and you're just having a grand old day. You're having a good day. And you decide, you know, you're just gonna work out, gonna build those pecs, yeah. So that is good mode.